I just saw him eat it. There we go. Oh, he's in the weeds. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of I Fish a Lie. In today's video, I will be doing some canoe fishing on a lake close to uh, my campus. As uh, some of you remember from last year, I uh, went on this canoe a bunch of times, filmed a lot of videos on it, was managing to get on some pretty decent fish. So, I'll show you guys the canoe fully in a second, but it looks like it's taken a little bit of damage since the last time I'm on it, I've been on it, so be a little cautious, make sure it doesn't sink on me or anything. Um, just going to be targeting some largemouth bass, pickerel, starting out with a little uh, crankbait type thing. Um, hopefully we can get on some nice fish. So, quick uh, tour, I already launched the canoe. So this bar right here is broken in half, it wasn't like that last time I was on it. It's a pretty spacious canoe, we got some pads right here, I'm going to be just working around this structure. probably. After I throw the jerk bait for a little, crank bait for a little bit, I'll switch over to a, a little swim bait. So, see if we can get on some fish. Gonna throw the chest mount on now. All right, so I'm just gonna be starting out with this uh, little crank bait, jerk bait type thing, uh, targeting these lily pads, seeing if there's anything around that structure. Um, there's a little weed bed. Should be able to find some fish. See if I can still stand up on this thing. Kind of just posted up on the side of the bank in these weeds and switched on to a Strike King spinnerbait with a uh, hefty swimmer on the back. Okay, just gonna kind of throw it around the lily pads, see if there's anything lurking. Alright, so far no luck with the uh, spinnerbait or the jerkbait. If any of you guys remember from my older canoe videos, I had a secret weapon in this lake. The uh, Maps Aglia, if I could find it. Alright, here it is. I had a brand new one of them. I'm gonna switch to this. Worst thing about this is just the line twist gets pretty annoying. So let's sling this thing around for a little bit. Hmm. It's a nice little pool right here. I just saw him eat it. Wow, he ate it right, right in front of me. Holy crap. Oh, he wanted this thing. Nice little large mouth. That was cool. Alrighty. Well, there you have it. My first fish of the year on the canoe. Nice little largemouth. I was recording them good. Probably not even a pound. Let's get a nice underwater shot of him. Alright, so 
so I'm just gonna keep talking this around here. Maybe we get a, another little large mouth. He came right out of the weed that is right here. So I'll need it. Alright, so I think I kind of figured them out. They want it really, really slow, uh, which is makes sense. The water's pretty cold. It is November uh, 9th or 10th. Or, no, it's November 9th, so it's pretty cold. The It's just really warm out today. It's like 70-something degrees today, but they still want it slow because the water temp is slow. I mean, is low, so it's going to be just running it slow through uh, deeper pockets of water even though this looks really really like thin and sh it, it expect it to be a little shallow there's a deep pocket right down the middle and uh, he I saw him eat it he came right out of the weed bed and I've had a few more bites since I've been uh, replicating that strat that strategy so see if we can get some more fish maybe a more sizable fish or even hopefully a pickerel I haven't caught a pickerel in a long time. Um, if you've been watching the channel for a long time, you guys know that I really like uh, catching pickerel. Um, so, we'll see what we can do. I'm um, just going to keep fishing. I'm going to head towards the uh, beaver dam, and that is where I'll turn around. I've got probably like an hour more to fish, and then I'm uh, hitting, hitting the salt water with my friend. So, we'll see what we can do. We're here at the beaver dam now. I think that this might produce some fish. It's a nice little pool right before some running water. Um, beaver dam looks way built up since the last time I've seen it. Um, still have never seen the beaver here. Uh, let's see if we can get on some fish here. There's no no fish on the way to the beaver dam. I was casting around, but let's see if we can get on one here. There we go. He ate it right in front of me again. Kind of in an awkward position. I don't want to fall in, so I'm just going to keep him in the water. Uh, I got to sit down. There we go. Another little one. He ate it right in front of me, though. That's pretty cool. All right. So another bass about the same size as the last one. Um, knew there would be fish over by the beaver dam. There always is. This thing's getting built up. Hope they're releasing before they get swept into the current over there. Um, so a little. All right, let's get an underwater shot of them and release them. There's another one. Yep, they're stacked up in this hole right here. Feels like a decent one.
Oh, he's in the weeds. He's a little bit bigger than the last ones. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> size. Yep, he's back up in this hole right here. Alright, so this is a little bit of a better one. Let's get a quick underwater uh, shot of him I'm running out of SD card space. Alright, so that's the third bass of the day. Um, got like 45 more minutes to fish, about pro probably a little less. Gotta head back soon. Um, so I wasn't even really reeling it. I just kind of uh, dragged it through, like paddled away from the hole by the beaver dam. There's like a little bit of a hole right here. And I think there's just large mouth stacked up in there. And I've just been getting hits right in there. Um, so I'm probably just gonna do the same thing. Just uh, paddle away from it and cast right at the, where the current starts and just kind of drift away from it and see, see if I get another hit. Um, Oh, that one wasn't a bad one, so let's see if there's any any more stacked up in there. There's another one. This one feels pretty good. It's fighting pretty hard. Figuring them out. He choked. Look at the colors on this one. Look at the colors on this one. I definitely figured them out. It's that's like three casts in a row. I've caught large enough now. Oh, he's so he's so chubby. Look at that lateral line on him. It's so nice. Let's get this one just right back in and catch some more bass. Pickle. Oh, that's so cool. I love little pickle. Nice. Okay. Alright, they are pretty sensitive. I'd like to get a nice underwater shot of him. Oh, that's cool. It's my first Rhode Island pickle. There's another fish. Bet you it's a pickle. Use up shallow. Definitely a pickle. Oh. I'm wrong. My fifth largemouth of the day. Might be my last. I gotta dip out of here pretty soon. He was up super shallow though. I'm surprised. Let's get him right back in. Alright guys, that is going to conclude today's video. I ended up with five largemouth bass and one uh, chain pickerel all on, all on the Meps Aglia in gold, um, size 2. Um, pretty happy with today. I At first I really didn't think that I was going to hook up on too many fish. Uh, the water felt pretty cold and there was nothing going on at the mouth of the river. Um, 
as I headed down to the uh, beaver dam, the action only picked up, and that's pretty much where I caught all of my fish. We're here by this uh, little beaver dam. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, okay, wait. So the bass wanted it pretty, pretty slow, and it seemed like they were mostly deep, but then I ended up getting hooking up on a few bass up shallow. I hooked up on one on camera up shallow over there, and then uh, one off camera up shallow on the edge of the beaver dam and then also the pick roll was up shallow so i don't know uh seemed like i figured out a pattern right by the beaver dam um they wanted it super super slow drifted right away from the beaver dam seemed like they were stacked up there i caught like three in a row um yeah so it was pretty cool it's always satisfying to be able to figure out a pattern and like hook up cast after cast like that so thank you guys so much for watching i will link all of the gear in the description um, this almost always will not get you, will catch fish in fresh water. Take this to any body of fresh water and you're likely to catch some fish. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit the like, uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and thank you guys so much. See you guys in the next video. I've got a, um, like saltwater surf casting update coming soon got to get some some footage i'm going saltwater fishing after this see if we get some footage um and then i'll just update you guys i've been doing a lot of night fishing for saltwater so i've been catching fish but just the footage quality is just not coming out great and i haven't been getting too many pictures but i've been catching a lot of fish at night this year so sorry kind of rambled on there ending the video now thank you guys again so much